Hello and welcome. This is Nikhil Raj, course director for Tutomash.com. Today our lesson is Enterprise Project Structure or EPS. The Enterprise Project Structure or EPS forms the hierarchical structure of your database of projects. Each EPS node or folder can be subdivided into multiple levels to represent the work that needs to be done in your organization. Here you can see the organization which I work in called as Navic Solution which has two major department called as construction and training. Construction is again divided to high rise building and building construction and training department is divided to civil and project management. Now let's see how this EPS is created in Primavera. For that you have to click enterprise then EPS and press add button. In Primavera the first EPS node cannot be deleted and all the projects that you create will be structured under EPS and the symbol of EPS is a pyramid. After creation of EPS you can connect it with the OBS by assigning responsible managers to concerned department or EPS node. Here you can see the EPS and OBS that I have created. Here I am going to assign Mr. Muller as chief director of Navic solution and Mr. Muhammad as director of construction and Mr. Jansen for training and so on. Now let's open Primavera and see how is it done. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to do EPS in Primavera. Go to Enterprise, press Enterprise Project Structure. A new window will appear showing EPS ID and EPS name. So follow your exercise. The first EPS is Navic Solution. And under Navic Solution, there is Construction and Training. So press Add two times. And rename to Construction. And Training. Now we need to create another two EPS that is high rise and bridge construction under construction. So press add again. You can see the new one is created under Navic solution. Use move button right indent and press add again. You can see two EPS is created under construction. Use the same methodology to create EPS under training. Press add and press move right. Press add again. Rename to civil and project management. Now we can see we have created a structure which is similar to our example. If we want to display to the chart view, you can press display and press chart view. You can see it is created. Now it is vertically arranged. So to make it horizontal, go to display and press horizontal. Same way, click training, go to arrange children and press horizontal. You can see it is similar to the example. Afterwards, you can add a column called as Responsible Manager where it shows the Associate Manager to respective department. If you want to change the Responsible Manager, you can click on the Browse button shown here and assign a Responsible Manager from the OBS that you have already created.
follow the exercise and assign responsible manager. So that's done. Now you can close the window. Your EPS is done. So that's how we do EPS in Primavera. If you have any queries or doubts related to this session, you can mail to tutomash at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.